Hey, good Friday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're keeping an eye on the potential for some strong storms this afternoon. Probably not as widespread as yesterday, but can't rule out some damaging wind gusts. The bigger story might be that the reason we're going to see strong storms, we actually have a cold front moving through that's going to cool us off going into the weekend. So here's a look at the wide view. So you kind of see what's going on. There's a cold front up there, and we do have one of those what we call MCSs. MCSs is a fancy acronym we use for mesoscale convective system. That probably doesn't even help either. That basically means a thunderstorm complex. Uh, mesoscale means small in scale, which is a thunderstorm. Convective means thunderstorm and then system. So you put the three together, you get MCS. Um, so that's what we call thunderstorm complexes. And you can see it's basically a bunch of storms that have come together and created a large cluster of storms. Now this is not a deratio, but deratios are a form of MCS. So you probably heard of that. And you can see these are chugging through parts of Southern Indiana, uh, Northern Kentucky and into Tennessee. And likely this is gonna head towards the Carolinas probably later today. So the fact that we have this complex is going to help provide a little more energy. And I do think we will see the risk for strong to severe storms this afternoon. In fact, if I turn the severe weather outlook on, look at that medium risk area. It's right in the track of this MCS. So you get the idea. This thing is probably going to continue to push this way as the cold front starts to drop in from the north. Now, the timing, it's pretty far away, so it's going to take a while to get here. Um, I would expect it to be here probably later this evening or even tonight, more so than the middle of the afternoon. Now, the probabilities of wind are primary concern. This is then You can get a tornado in this setup, but you can see the tornado probabilities are less than 1%. So this is all about the potential that we're going to see damaging straight line winds. And ahead of it, as you probably know, if you've been outside, the temperatures are sky high again today. We're already in the 80s out there here, already with dew points in the 70s. But if you want some good news, I can give you some really good news behind this front. I'm going to show you the, the dew points behind it, because if you look behind it, much drier air in the Great Lakes coming down for the weekend. So let's get back to our severe weather risk. We'll talk about the timing of this and show you future cast. Starting at 11 a.m., you see the cluster of storms there. We'll go into about 1 p.m., not a lot going on in the Carolinas. We'll go to about 3 p.m., still not a lot going on in the Carolinas. So you get the idea the timing here is not going to be early to mid-afternoon unless something new forms ahead of it, which is a possibility. But I think the main surge is coming in after 5 p.m., so I'll stop this at 5 to 6 o'clock. And you see how scattered the storms are. I think this is a real possibility that we won't see the big, large cluster of storms, uh, but the outflow boundary from it will help produce more scattered storms as it moves in. So think around dinner time, you're likely going to see scattered, strong storms. Um, not as widespread as yesterday. Every piece of guidance and every piece of data points to probably more of the scattered variety, but can't rule out that they come together like yesterday, especially as they get towards the coast. We go towards nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you start to see the storms kind of wane. Even 2 o'clock in the morning, we still got some storms near I-95 as these push off to the east. So we are going to see some cooler air moving behind this, probably upper 80s for the weekend. But the bigger story will be the lower dew point. So let's, let's show that again one more time. I'll kind of show you how this unfolds. So there's our complex, comes down, reforms as it moves in. Because remember, the cold front's coming in from the north and west. So that's kind of the timing late this evening. So the potential is there that those storms could be severe. Let's take a quick look though at the temperatures behind this. So probably the most exciting thing for the weekend isn't so much it's gonna be that dramatically cooler. It will be closer to 90 as opposed to 100, but the lower dew points, this is the dew point map. So the lower dew points are gonna be lighter greens and even eventually yellows and then kind of grays. Watch what happens as the cold front sweeps in this weekend. Right there. I mean, this is 2 a.m. going into Sunday morning. That is really dry air. If I look at the dew points here, look at these dew points. That's almost unheard of. Remember, we just had dew points that were pushing 80 degrees, and here we got dew points in the 30s and 40s coming down on Sunday morning. So let me loop that again because I think that's an amazing map to look at just to see that cold front and that really dry air moving in. Now, when does the best dry air get in here? You know, we look at tonight, 10 p.m. We'll go to tomorrow morning. You know, in the morning, you'll start to see it move in. Dew points here in the morning, again, will be still in the 60s, but you'll, you'll see that eventually, you know, we're going to see, let me put the dew points back up here real quick. You'll start to see the dew points drop again as we go into the afternoon. So dew points should fall off pretty quickly. So by one o'clock, we're already in the upper 40s for dew points. So that is just, uh, I mean, I could just stare at that map all day. That's the beauty of the weekend forecast. So we are going to see some strong storms, 
but a much better weekend ahead. Get ready next week, another heat wave, but a different kind of heat wave, more of a dry heat. We're gonna be near triple digits, which is probably easier to do with drier air, but we won't have the crazy high heat indices that we had this week. But we'll get more into that as we get to the weekend and early next week. Have a great Friday. Make sure you're paying attention to those storms this afternoon. If you don't have the WCNC Charlotte app, make sure you grab that because we're likely going to see at least some scattered warnings this evening. Think about dinner time right now.